putting the hops back. Okay. Nice and tidy. Michael, I noticed something over here. Hmm? I've noticed something. What? What's what's this bottle? Oh no, that's that, that's nothing. Oh okay. Okay, so the beer. How old is it? No, that, that that's. We can't drink this beer, honestly. Can't talk about it. We can, well, we, we we can talk about it. We can only talk about it. And and, and uh, knowing you, I want to drink it as well. Okay. It's covered in dust. It must be quite old. Yeah, it's been sitting here for three years or something. I, I brewed this for somebody on my trial kit, 20 litres, um, uh, for our designer, James. And, uh, you know, I keep it for him. I mature it here and, you know, I have to give it to him. I, I, I don't think he'll mind too much. No, honestly, Simon. Come on, no, no, just, just. Yeah? What do you think? You don't mind, James, do you? No. Right, Excellent! This. Is, this. Right, what have we got here, Michael? Now I've twisted your arm, what do we have here? The story goes that I brewed this for James, our designer, who did this brilliant job in doing all the design work for us. Um, and just to return the favour, um, I said, well, I brew a beer for you, what do you want? And many years ago when we were working together, um, he said, oh, remember, we were on a Christmas do and we had this uh, Goose Island uh, Bourbon, County B style. Bourbon County Imperial Stout oh. Vanilla version, 12%. Yeah. Uh, and he went, Yeah, that was a fantastic beer. You want me to brew this for you? Oh, God, that's going to be yeah. a nightmare. But it was very good, so yeah, I'll give it a go. So this is a 12% Imperial Stout with secondary fermentation matured on oak chips soaked in rye whiskey since both James and I like our rye whiskies. Oh. Um, secondary fermentation on a vanilla pod as well. It's been sitting here for three years now. It's no wonder nice you're guarding the look secret. At, look at the dust, the dust on, on there. It, yeah. <laughs> Just caught it sitting over there in the corner. I thought to myself, yeah, let's, let's dig into this one. Should we get it open? Yeah. Let's go on. Uh, it's quite, yeah. It's quite flat. Okay. Um, it is three years old. And it's quite difficult to carbonate. This looks like treacle. Oh, oh. It's quite difficult to carbonate a beer like this. I learned another trick or two since then as to how to wow. carbonate it. That looks lovely. Dense, rich. Well, if you like, yeah, if wow. you like engine oil, yeah, it looks lovely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, should we get the nose? I let you crack on about it. Vanilla, yes, the vanilla from the oak as well, not yeah. just from the vanilla pod. Really oaky. You woody. get a lot of oak. I think I use both medium and heavily toasted oak chips. For yeah. This. Kick of alcohol, what's the ABV? 12% roughly. 12%? I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, because we... Really fruity. Oh. Yeah, we, we, we soaked it. Well, we soaked the oak chips in a 50% rye whiskey. Um, Rittenhouse BIB, if you're a whiskey geek like I am. Um, so there's a fair bit of rye whiskey in there as well, I suspect. That is unbelievable, uh, and I, I got to be honest, I'm really, really pleased to be able to drink such a, a, a rare beer that Michael may never brew again, unless we twist his arm to brew it again. Never know. Never know. <laughs> if I if I can get my hands on a on a bourbon cask or something, which I'm yeah. hoping I will. This Cheers. Is, yeah. Need a spoon for it. Oh, that is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Warming. Um, coconut, vanilla. Yeah, coconut. Yeah, there's, there's coconut in there. Well, not not literally. But, no, um, um, you can get coconut. No, absolutely. Yeah, coconut, yeah. vanilla. It's woody. There's a little bit of raisin in there from the the malt and the the yeast and the hops. It's, it's got just, a bit of a burn to it. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit of an alcoholic burn going down. I use some demerara sugar in this just to bump mm. up the alcohol a bit. You get well. that because you wanted it to be really strong. Yeah. You do, yes, you do. You do definitely get that little bit of kind of brown sugar. Not sweetness. I wouldn't say sweet. Would you, maybe a little bit of sweetness. But I think it's pretty sweet. Yeah, wow. yeah. It's it's a beautiful beer. It's dry as well. 
Yeah, oh, right. it's, it's, it's fermented using an American yeast, so it's quite, quite an, an uh, attenuative yeast, so it, it did a good job fermenting. But yeah, it's quite really nice. The whiskey comes through lovely, doesn't it? That, that, did you say it was peated whiskey? No, it was Amer American rye whiskey. Right, that was it, rye yeah. whiskey, yeah, yeah. I'm not very good with whiskey, but... Yeah, I think bourbon or rye whiskey is just... goes best with stouts. I think as much as I love Scottish single malt whiskey, the best whiskey in the world, but sometimes it just has to be American. So this is Top Out Breweries, extremely rare, only at the brewery in a, a dusty a, corner. 18 litres are made of it. 18 litres, <laughs> amazing. Um, I, I, well, it, it's oh. fairly brilliant, fairly brilliant. Fairly? <laughs> yeah, brilliant, 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 brilliant. I think it's a lovely beer. Yeah. Um, I've had Bur Bourbon County Stouts and this is very, very close to being the exact thing. Thank you. Yeah, brilliant beer. Yeah. Cheers, Michael. If if we're all lucky, including me, we might do something like this on a on the large scale. And we'll yeah. stop out. Yeah, that'd be great. At some point in the future. So, how would you carbonate a twelve percent beer? Because, uh, of course, when you take the alcohol levels above eight, nine, ten, you you, you that head dissipates very quickly. Yeah. How do you how do you, how do you get that head to it's, stay? I think it'll it'll need some some extra yeast because the yeast after fermenting to you know well over ten percent, the yeast is just tired. I think I'm going to have to add some champagne yeast or something which is even more attenuative than okay i wouldn't ferment it with champagne yeast yeah but just for for the bottle conditioning yeah um yeah a very active second highly protein. attenuative uh yeast and add some some priming sugar for the bottle conditioning as well i'm gonna have to give that a go on a small scale but i think that's what i'm what i'm gonna do superb superb Thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, check out Thomas, Thomas? Top Out Brewery on Twitter, <laughs> Instagram, Facebook. We've been drinking all day. And yeah, we've been yeah. drinking all day. We, it's, we, you know, it's not one of them breweries that leave you dry. It, it certainly isn't. <laughs> Thanks for watching, cheers. Cheers.